Thanks so much for worshiping with us to Healer. Um, I love, love, love this song. It's super close to my heart um, because I have personally known Jesus as a healer in my life in a really uh, significant and life altering way. Actually, like a year and a half ago, I was actually like disabled, like on all the disability services at school and stuff. And wasn't like, they weren't like expecting me to ever be able to like get a job or drive a car or anything like that on my own because I was having these stroke like episodes that would um, make it so that like the right side of my body would be like 80% paralyzed. I would be blind and like I would just kind of like get like tremors in my hands and I would like pass out and I had all these just wild symptoms that like normal teenage girls just don't have <laughs> and so I I these just popped up and I started having these episodes like three times a day so I wasn't really having like enough time to like really even fully recover from it is it your whole body that's numb is it half of your body that's numb you know what half means no Okay, that's okay. Hey, the, uh, do you, uh, uh, which, is it right side or left side that's numb? It's in my right side. It's your right side? The left side's fine? Okay, great, great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab your feet, okay? So, which, are both, are both feet numb or is just one foot numb? Neither. Or tingly. Is that a, is that your right foot or your left foot? It's in my left. That's your left? On my right and Roger. Okay. But it's this one? This is the one that's numb? Is it numb or tingly? I don't remember the difference. Okay. What's uh what's this one? And so um, I was so exhausted all the time and it was um, like really basically day-to-day -day functions just became super hard and like I couldn't do them anymore because during these episodes I would feel like communicate like basic English words. <laughs> I would mix up all the words which made it so hard to diagnose but then once we ended up getting diagnosed like we realize that there's not really like meds for this. There's not really like a human, like we can't rely on like humans to like help cure this or help like make me better at all. And Jesus was our only option for healing. And so he is who we had to turn to, <laughs> which was perfect because he's who we always want to turn to first anyways. And so, 
we uh, we begin praying for my healing and fasting for my healing uh, because I believe that 2,000 years ago on the cross when Jesus paid for our healing that that was the moment that we were healed and we just wait for symptoms to be resolved by the Lord's hand but that healing was already bought 2,000 years ago. He already paid every every bit of the price that needed to be paid on that. And so we begin thanking the Lord for my healing and praying that we would see, like, that we would see the healing that we know He had already given to us. And um, so I had like, oh, it was like almost 200 of these episodes in like a four month period of time. Um, like I usually have them like one to three times a day. So, um, I, yeah, it was a really weird time, but, um, we, but after this four month period of time, I ended up having uh, my dad and some other person from church laid hands on me and prayed for me. And um, I ended up getting killed like on the spot. I immediately, like, I, I knew that he had healed me, the Lord had given me a promise at that moment. He said, for we are about to see, and so that was the moment that I knew that the healing that he had paid for already 2,000 years ago was something that we were about to see, and we were about to see so much more beyond that, because healing opens so many doors for God's kingdom to be built, and it opens so many doors for his gospel to be shared and for it. Like, who he is to be shared with people. Because I'm just one person. What does like my little bitty health problem have to do with the grand scheme of things? It doesn't except for that the God of the universe is personal enough and cares enough about even the tiniest details of my life, like my health, that he would come in and make an effort to heal me that's crazy. That that to me shows so much desire for intimacy with me. It shows so much desire to it shows so much desire to notice the things that even other people might not notice in me. He really cares about those things because he made us that way. And and he he never like designed us to live in in sickness. That's not how we were made. We were made whole. And he's a God of wholeness. <laughs> so when I found out that we were going to be recording this song, I immediately heard the Lord speak and he began to tell me that there were going to be other people that were going to be worshiping with us to this song and they were going to be getting healed. And I was so excited <laughs> because, and I just knew I had to just begin praying this like type of healing into existence because the Lord so, so, so wants to heal every single one of his kiddos. And like sometimes some people see that sooner than others. And so that can be a little disheartening to your faith. But, or maybe you have like someone that's like, oh, well, this problem is too big for God. Your problem is not too big for God. Your problem is not too small for God because he's a big God and he cares about the details. And so when the Lord spoke to me and had told me that people were gonna get healed, I was praying for you guys because he does want to heal you guys and maybe it's hard to believe that because you've never seen a miracle like that before but I'm here I'm not paralyzed <laughs> I'm not blind and I'm not shaking completely conscious right now <laughs> I can obviously speak English like we're good I'm totally totally healed completely <laughs> 100% <laughs> but because that maybe you have never experienced a miracle like that in your life or don't know anybody that has because it's probably the first time for everything 
but the Bible says that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. And him being the author and finisher of our faith means that when we don't have the faith that we need to receive a miracle, that Jesus writes out that faith for us and gives it to us. So when we don't feel like we have the faith that we need to receive a miracle, because it only takes a mustard seed to move a mountain. But sometimes we don't even feel like we have the tiniest like little mustard seed that we need. But the Bible says that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. And so that means when we don't have that faith, he writes it out for us and gives it to us. Jesus gives us the faith that we need to receive a miracle. So I would so, so encourage you to believe God for a healing. And if you can't believe him for a healing, or you can't believe him for whatever other miracle that you need, believe him to give you the faith to receive what he has for you. Because he has so much more for you than you could possibly imagine. And you can, you can go to him and ask for that. Like, he's a really, really good father. A really, really good father is just not good things for their kids. And they want their kids to be, you know, first and foremost, in an intimate and personal relationship with him. So that's first things first. That's what he wants with you. And if you don't have that relationship with him, you definitely, definitely, to seek him out and it's easy you just you just say Jesus I want a personal relationship with you and then from there you guys just get to know each other but after that <laughs> this perfect good father that we have this perfect good father we have in heaven that wants good things for his kids that wants his personal relationship with his kids. After that, bring the miracles and say, just come up. <laughs> it doesn't stop at salvation. I'm living proof. <laughs> so I will agree with you in your prayers for a miracle because I know personally the God of miracles. Father, thank you so much that you're a good Father who cares about the details of our lives. And thank you that your goodness doesn't even stop at the amazing... Uh, uh, thank you that your goodness doesn't stop at your amazing grace for us. Thank you that you are a healing God and you are still a miracle working God. And that there never has to be any doubt in our minds of if you love us enough to give that to us. Or if you or if you are powerful enough to do that for us. Thank you, Father, that we know that you are. And anybody that is watching this worshiping with us, praying with us, just loving you with us. Father, I just pray an outpouring of your spirit on their lives that would push out any sickness, an outpouring of your spirit on their lives that would push out any anything that you didn't place there, specifically. <laughs> You're so good. We always give you every bit of thanks and every bit of glory for every miracle we see. Knowing that it's a miracle simply because you touched it. <laughs> so I just pray your miracle working hand would just touch people right here and right now. We're ready to receive and we believe you at your word that Jesus Christ paid for our healing 2,000 years ago on the cross so that we can know you as our healer so that we can know that <laughs> you are for us and we give all things for our good 
And Father, I thank you for my personal healing over a year ago now. <laughs> You're even bigger than I thought you were. And we love you and give you all of the praise in Jesus' mighty name.